Okay. Uh, good afternoon, my dear students. So, let us continue discussing the personal computer. So, a personal computer, of course, is a small, relatively ex inexpensive computer that is designed for use by one person at a time. It allows you to perform personal tasks such as creating documents, communicating with other people, and playing games. The abbreviation PC is most often used to refer to computers that run the Microsoft Windows operating system, as well as to differentiate them from Macintosh computers. So remember last uh, week, I think the other week, no? I uh, let you create your uh, application letter and some of your, I think, uh, resume so, or the curriculum vitae. So that's one good example of uh, creating documents. Okay. And also, you can do communication, no? communicating with other people. So, through if you have an internet connection, your computer is connected to an internet connection, you can directly communicate with other people around the world. Okay, so through uh, different platforms, okay, communication platforms, say for an instance, you have Facebook or Yahoo Messenger, okay, or FB Messenger, of course. Uh, you have also the Google Hangouts, okay, and a lot, a lot more of uh, platforms for uh, communication. You can also play games, okay. Of course, you, some of you are fun with playing Mobile Legends, okay, and other other games, okay, that is uh, uh, connected. No, connected to the internet okay so there are lots of mobile games okay but that requires us to get connected to the internet so with that you can or you can communicate directly with your friends okay you can communicate with them as long as you have an internet connection and also even minecraft okay are also you can uh, directly play with your friends through uh, online okay you can uh, join you can join with your friends playing with them with uh, the games that you are enjoying with okay so that's it now we'll proceed to a computer is a powerful and useful tool because it gives you a number of benefits including the ability to quickly produce high quality work okay agree on that uh, instead of writing so you can just use the, the uh, computer to create your documents or presentation and a lot a lot more it also enables you to learn new skills that are important part of today's technological world Okay, so you have your YouTube. Okay, say for an instance you want to learn about how to bake a cake. Okay, so you can learn it on your own. Okay, you can just uh, uh, follow the instruction on how the the cake are being uh, produced. Okay, the ing what are the ingredients and the the requirements for you to to create no, the said uh, cake okay so there are lots of uh, uh, tutorials for you to to watch okay so next is we have the speed so our computers allows you to perform many everyday tasks more quickly so for example uh, if you mail a letter to a friend okay he or she may receive it in a few days so because of the internet and you have a, la a fast internet connection your friend will immediately receive that email anywhere in the world as long as he or she has its own internet connection she can immediately receive 
the email okay you have sent if you send an email it will be received in a few minutes similarly if you manually compose a newsletter it may take you a week whereas using a computer of course no i know some of you had experienced this kind of uh, situation wherein you're going to send letter through a uh, post Okay, post office so na experience po ba yun in my of course i had experienced that before and it takes weeks before that email will be received by the recipient okay so whereas nowadays through email in just a minute no? or a seconds you can immediately receive the letter so most electronic devices such as DVD players, camcorders, and personal series only do one thing. However, because of computers are versatile by design, they enable you to do many things. So for example, you can use a computer to listen to a music, watch movies, create flyers research your family history educate your children and also play games so you can uh, do these things no at the same time if you can uh, manage it okay so let's say uh, you are listening a music while you are creating a flyers no? at the same time you can do that in your computer you can also listen music while you are doing your research okay you can also uh, teach your students in advance okay you can let your children watch their favorite uh, character okay let's say they love to watch uh, uh, cartoons or educational uh, videos okay so they can also learn it on their own okay by watching uh, movies you can also play they can also play games at the same time okay you can uh, join with them playing games so that's a good uh, bonding with your family okay later on Okay, if you have your brother or sisters, you can play with them. So, playing uh, Mobile Legends or Dota 3. Okay, next. So, in as you can see, we have through computer, you can create documents. Okay, so also you can create res uh, letters, resumes, memos, reports, newsletters, brochures business cards menus flyers invitations and certificates okay through documents anything that you use to communicate on paper you can create using your computer okay so these are some of the things that you can do in your documents okay so ano bang documents na alam ninyo? Now, a good example for but that is yung common sa atin which is the Microsoft Word. Okay? So it's a word processing application. In our mobile device, of course, you can you I also instructed you to create your letter through your mobile device. So I expect that you have installed it in your phone, the WPS and the Microsoft Word. So, you can also monitor your finances. You can use your computer to perform basic financial management. For example, you can create a budget, record, expenses, balance your checkbook, calculate your taxes, and monitor your mortgage. If you run a small business, you can allocate income and expenses, create financial reports, and calculate your profit and loss so of course uh, if you have man uh, if you have an application 
okay install on the computer you say for instance microsoft excel uh, you can uh, of course encode the details with that uh, application you can install uh, you can encode or type the details of everyday uh, activities you had and with that you are already doing your monitoring okay and uh, you can use Microsoft Excel on that for uh, easy calculation okay for easy calculation I know some of you had already a background on how to use the Microsoft Excel but for those who don't have yet an experience maybe it's about time for you to explore the Microsoft Excel anyway we will have that later okay I will be giving you an activity on how to perform uh, calculations perform research so you can use uh, your computer and the internet to research almost any topic that you can think of for example you can learn more about uh, vacation destination trace your family history access back issues of news papers and magazines and compare products before you buy them okay so you can uh, uh, do your research about a certain a certain place where you want to have your vacation so let's say uh, this coming May you have your family has a plan to uh, visit a place okay to visit a place or to, to have a vacation for one week so you need to know about that place we're going to uh, maybe uh, you can do research where is the best place where you can stay for one week vacation with your family so through internet you can immediately communicate with them okay of course when they have their uh, their uh, posted their information expected that they also provided their contact information so let's say they have their own website so they you can immediately uh, see all the the amenities okay included in the uh, in the place where you're going to have your uh, vacation okay and also uh, you can trace the history of your family through of course you have your Facebook you can uh, uh, search your friends your family okay that uh, family that are far from your location say for if for example you are you're from here in Jensen and you're going to uh, uh, you have the plan to visit your friend or family in Luzon so you can uh, search their name okay and their location okay and of course their pictures no to verify if really okay if that is really your family because we know that uh, there are an instance we have the same name but uh, of course uh, magkaiba yung uh, ano okay through through their faces you will be able to verify if that is your relatives or your uh, friend or your family okay so uh, access back issues of newspaper and magazine so uh of course uh, magazines and uh, your the previous uh, posted uh, articles are being uh, archived okay are being uh, stored permanently uh, in a server okay so expecting if you want to search about the history of that accident or whatever you can uh, search, it, search it through the internet you can also compare products Okay, before you buy them so say for instance uh, you want to buy a product so in you have the, the uh, e-commerce website for that you have the e here in the Philippines we have the, e the Shopee and the Lazada okay you can visit the Shopee and then of course there are a lot of suppliers there so as you can see there are uh, lesser pricer prices and also there there are uh, 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 standard price so you can also uh, look into Lazada 
and if you have already gathered the the amount of a certain product or item uh you look into the lazada okay you compare the price okay the shopee and the lazada price of course it depends on the supplier i have ordered actually a product uh, a solar uh, led light okay a solar led 100 pieces yung kanyang ano eh yung led niya so automatic ano din siya solar powered okay and meron din siyang uh, uh, motion detector okay so you can compare the the product you know you can compare the product of that uh, item so lazada and the shopee so which is lesser oh don't kabibili of course so you will have to it depends on you if you're going to pay it immediately or uh, maybe you, you can have it uh, cash on delivery as long as the supplier allows it you to do okay now we'll proceed to work with numbers so you can use a spreadsheet or excel program to work with the numbers on your computer for example you can create mark age uh, amortization schedule you can also calculate how much money you need to save for your retirement monitor and investment portfolio and create a business plan so as time goes on we will have this kind of activity okay in our uh, subject so next is store data you can use your computer and the appropriate software to store and work with large amounts of data so you can track personal items such as cds recipes uh, contact information for friends and relatives and fitness activities for business you can track client and potential clients inventory products and order okay so just like your mobile device nowadays it performs this in uh, this uh, uh, activity okay it, it has the capability to uh, perform storing all data okay that's why uh, if you want to call somebody or your friend you can just immediately look into the personal or contact information in your phone book okay that is uh, permanently stored on your uh, mobile device okay you can also uh, uh, browse the internet through your device okay through your mobile device and also you can communicate with your friends directly so your computer uh, is your device is already a computer okay so schedule your time you can use your computer as an electronic date timer to record upcoming activities okay so remember that your phone has this cap capability your smartphone has this capability wherein you can uh, record your upcoming activities birthdays anniversaries events meetings and appointments you can also set up a scheduling programs to remind you of approaching events so that you can uh, you do not uh, forget them okay oh, magsiset ka ng alarm no on your mobile device or in your computer you can also do that so you can also teach your children so you can use your computer to help educate your children there are many programs available that are designed to assist children with uh, reading drawing learning math and science solving problems and enhancing creativity okay so as long as you have an internet connection you can uh, teach your children you need to guide them okay of what they're watching because you know what they see on the social media would simply okay would simply uh, uh, absorb on their uh, uh, minds okay so just like a uh, plain paper no parang sinusulatan yung kanilang mga isipan okay so kung ano yung nakikita nila yun din ang ginagawa nila so you need to guide them okay especially nowadays hindi mo alam 
na nanonood na pala ng uh, pornographic videos so you need to check on them okay from time to time so aside from that learn your life skill learn you life skills you can use your computer to learn you life skills programs are available that teach you how to speak okay a different language play chess cook garden design at a home play okay garden design a home play a musical instrument and design and make clothes okay these are just some of the videos that you can uh, see on the the internet okay through YouTube you can learn a lot of skills new life skills you know? it will uh, teach you how to uh, do the step-by-step -step process on doing things next is we have uh, make new friends so you can use your computer and the internet to enhance your social life you can chat with other people by typing messages to them join mailing lists and find support groups find clubs and organizations in your area and find a date okay kaya nga ang daming mga ano dito di ba na nagkaroon ng uh, uh, somebody no special someone through the internet so nakikipag communicate lang sila through internet no tawag doon uh, long distance relationship no because uh, there's no boundary anymore you can communicate with the people around the world okay so it's up to you next is we have keep in touch so you can use your computer to communicate with friends family colleagues and clients that you do not often see face to face you can send email messages and instant messages and you can even talk to another person using your microphone and your computer speaker so next you can also buy and sell you can use your computer and the internet to buy and sell things many online stores enable you to purchase anything from books to baby accessories and have it delivered to your door to door just like lazada and shopee there are also auction sites such as ebay that enable you to sell items that you create on that okay or create or that you no longer need okay so we have ebay and amazon in other country but here in the philippines we have lazada and e uh, shop shopee okay next create items you can use your computer to bring out your creative side for example you can create your own greetings card Okay, greeting cards or wedding invitation draw pictures manipulate digital photos edit digital movies record sounds and compose your music okay those are some of the things that you can do on your computer so you can learn these skills on your own if you don't know how to use the, the application example if you uh, use the uh, uh, adobe photoshop for creating your uh, or editing your picture then if you don't know know how to use this this application you can just research the youtube okay and then uh, it will uh, help you it will teach you the step-by-step -step processing or process on how to edit a picture okay so with that you are learning a new skills so next is you have to play a media so you can play media so you can use your computer to play digital media including your music cds audio files video files animation dvds musics and movies that you have downloaded from the internet play games you can use your computer to play many different types of games you can solve puzzle 
fly a plane, race a car, go on an adventure, play football or baseball, battle aliens, plan a city, play backgammon or checkers or deal poker. Okay, those are just some of the games that you can do on your computer. Next, when selecting a computer that is best for your needs, you should consider what purpose it will serve in your home or business and whether it should be, mo be mobile for travel. Okay, so of course, you need to decide what is the best for your needs so if you're traveling do not buy a computer uh, uh, what I mean is a standalone computer or uh, shall we say a uh, a desktop computer if you are uh, traveling okay you're traveling with your business so best fit for that is you buy a laptop okay a laptop or uh, a tablet since you are traveling okay because you in when you do when you are traveling you cannot bring the the flat screen monitor okay and the uh, the keyboard with you and the mouse with you and the the system unit with you so you need to have a compact uh, device which is uh, all in one there's already the 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 mouse which is the uh, what we shall we say uh, uh, a uh, touch screen device touch screen okay just like your tablet okay it has you can directly browse the internet through the screen okay you can just uh, manip uh, directly navigate everything so that's the best fit for you because you are traveling but uh, uh, if your if your work is just at home you can use your desktop computer okay for uh, doing your task okay whether it should be mobile or for travel now let's proceed to uh, types of computer so desktop is by far the most common type of computer most desktop systems come with a separate computer case monitor keyboard and mouse on older desktops the computer case lies flat on the desk with a monitor sitting on the top Almost all newer systems use a tower case that sits upright. You can place this case either on a desk or on the floor. Many newer desktops are media center pieces that enable you to play movies, view pictures, and listen to music through your TV and uh, stereo. So these top computers are good for the office. Okay. So you can just... Uh, uh, place it on the table okay and of course uh, you have your system unit you have your keyboard you have your mouse so that's it now let's proceed to the notebook the notebook is a computer that combines the case okay combines the case monitor keyboard the mouse in one unit oh, this is good for those people who are traveling and doing their business uh, for easy portability it is also called a laptop or a portable notebook. Uh, portable notebooks are light, usually only four to six pounds, so magaan lang siya, and so you can take them out of your office or home. Most notebooks are just as powerful as desktop system. Okay, uh, familiar kayo siguro sa mga term no notebook or netbook. Maliit lang yan siya no. Uh, meron, we, I have seen one which is ang uh, brand niya is Asus. Meron din Acer yung si kwan ang nag, nag I mean artista si Tony Gonzaga, no? Yung sa Acer. Siya yung mag, nag-model yung yung detachable yung kanyang uh, LCD. Then we have also the tablet PC. A tablet PC is a computer that looks similar to a small notebook. However, the tablet PC screen pivots so that it lies on the top of the keyboard making it looks like a writing ta tablet. You can use a digital pen to input your data or select items on the screen. Uh, nowadays, we are just 
we can actually use our hands for navigation instead of using digital pen okay so one good example for the tablet pc is the yung exam song no samsung meron tayong mga basta medyo malaki lang siya no na, malaking size sa smartphone okay then we also have the handheld pc a handheld pc is a very small computer usually weighing less than a pound that you can hold comfortably in your hand or carry a jacket pocket a handheld pc is also called a personal digital assistant or the pda okay or pump top most people use a handheld pc to store their schedule and check their email while out of the office a newer type of the handheld computer is a ultra mobile pc or umpc which comes with a relatively large screens and can run a wider variety of programs than, than most handheld PC. So, yan. Yan yung handheld PC example. Next is a server. A server is a powerful computer that acts as a central resource for a number of other computers that are connected to it. These other computers can B desktops are stripped down terminals that use the server to run programs and store data. Some servers are mainframes, which are giant computers that run large scale operations such as airline reservation system. <coughs> you can uh, actually, uh, you have seen actually this uh, server, okay? These are large uh, 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 devices. Okay, that uh, would store large information so uh, our website has its own uh, web server okay bakit tinawag siya na web server because uh, it uh, allows people to get connected to that server uh, one good example is uh, let's say if we have facebook account okay our account or our information are recorded on the server so anywhere in the world world as long as there's an internet connection you can access your account okay because the server uh store this information upon uh during your registration upon uh, your registration so once you are uh pr you have provided your your uh uh, shall we say your username and password you can directly communicate with the server so all of those uploaded pictures you have in facebook are actually uh, safely kept on the server okay so once you log in and log out information are being uh, provided or sent by the server okay when you communicate with other people the server allows you to do that okay so once the server is down you cannot communicate with other people okay let's say uh you we are our server here in the philippines are disconnected so expected that uh, uh we cannot communicate with the people around the world so our servers also are interconnected with each other so if we have server here in the philippines for facebook you have also server in other countries like Hong Kong like uh, uh, in Asia okay in in uh, America okay they have their own server so they are being interconnected so once you upload a certain picture here in the Philippines through your Facebook account uh, the other servers in other country will be updated also so that's the server Learning to use a personal computer is much easier if you know how to how a typical system is laid out and what uh, each major part does. So computer case, the computer case is also called the system or unit or console holds the electronic chips and the device that uh, make the computer work. The outside of the of the case ha has an on off switch and the rear of the case is where you plug in the computer components for more information about the internal components of your computer see chapter 2 okay 
So, of course, we are talking about the computer case. Or the computer case holds the electronic uh, dev device, the internal parts of the computer. So, we have the motherboard, we have the hard disk drive, we have a CPU fan, our system uh, CPU, the central processing, the power supply, etc. Those are internal parts of our computer. Now, let's proceed to the monitor. So, the monitor also called the screen or, dis it or display. It's a TV-like device that a computer uses to display text, images, and other information. So, you know that already. Okay, because you can uh, immediately see that because it's a part of the computer that displays an output. And also, we have the keyboard. It is a typewriter-like device that you use to type your information and enter instruction for a computer to follow to learn how to work the keyboard and you no know, actually you can, that's the only way you can communicate with the uh, computer okay as a, a desktop computer so uh, of course you can use your mouse no it's a it's an input device the keyboard is an input device the mouse is a hand operated pointing device that you uh, used to select or move item on the screen as well as to provide instruction for the computer to follow to learn how to step of course see chapter 4 so those are some of our input device now let us have a printer okay a printer is an output device a printer is a device that you use to print all documents from computers some printers are all in one devices that can also fax copy and uh, scan okay copy and scan documents that scan not can okay scan documents speaker is another output device that uh, devices that output the sound effects music narration and other audio that your computer generates you can also use headphones so that only you can hear the computer's output an interruptible power supply an uninterruptible power supply or the ups is a device that provides temporary power to your computer should the electricity fail so these are very useful uh, actually device no once we have a uh, power interruption the ups will immediately provide you an uh, electricity to your computer device okay uh, it will it has a backup uh, power okay but uh, it depends it may be 10 minutes uh, be after the the power is down uh, 10 minutes of supply depends on the cap capacity or capability of the UPS on uh, supporting power on your device this device enable you to shut down your computer properly to avoid losing data so let's say uh, you are doing an a, uh, a word document no your document you are using the document for creating your report then suddenly the the power or the electricity uh, fail no uh ng brown out so you still have time to uh, save your work okay to store permanently so uh, you don't have to worry because you had given ample time or maybe a 10 minutes of time to to work with that so uh, next is the game controller the game controller is a device that you can use to to control the action in a computer game such as protector asserts protector is a device uh, no. of course the game controller is a device for uh, manipulating you know uh, uh, controlling your uh, game okay so surge protector a surge protector is a device that protects your computer from damage by power fluctuation which are most often caused by a lightning okay the surge protector uh, common sa atin yan, no? uh, the ABR no? automatic voltage regulator that is a surge protector so anong kaibahan ng What's the difference between the UPS and the the surge protector or the ABR automatic voltage regulator or the surge protector? It uh, actually 
protects from fluctuations okay automatically once the there is a a, a fluctuation of uh, the electricity say for instance the, the 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 current is very high the the fuse will just uh, explode okay it will just uh, cut the fuse okay and that's it it will protect your computer from the high voltage caused by possible lightning or high surge of uh, current or electricity so besides the keyboard and mouse most personal computers also come with a number of accessories so we also have the modem okay the modem is a device okay device that connects your computer to the internet either through telephone lines or tv cable some modems called internal com modems resides inside a computer so we also have actually a uh, modem installed inside a computer but uh, nowadays we have uh, through our internet service provider we can just immediately connect our computer through a modem there's a provided modem from the PLDT we will just simply connect that to your computer uh, also we have a wireless capability of that modem you can directly con connect our mobile device or our laptop to the modem okay so a uh, wireless capable kasi siya. okay so these are just some of the components that has been discussed a while ago so uh, you know the already speaker you know already the the physical appearance of the modem you know already this is the 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 uh, ups now the ups is uh this one uh this one that is the ups where you can connect your uh uh your plug no? power plug you have also here the extension wire i think okay or the power surge protector then we also have here the the game controller okay we also have here the modem okay the speaker and the printer okay so that's the different uh, uh, out uh, external device we have external device now let's proceed now uh, front of personal computer case so on a typical personal computer the front of the case contains numbers of buttons indicator lights ports and slots to the personal computer yeah, and con HP pavilion smart media SD mini MMC plus mobile M MS pro duo pro duo so those are just some of the connector okay in front of your uh, computer then we also have the compact flash power switch when the computer is off press the power switch to turn the computer on when you have finished working with the, your computer and have shut down all of your program press the power switch again to turn off the computer so activity light the activity light flashes on and off when your computer is performing a task such as accessing the main hard disk, memory card readers. The memory card readers are slots into which you can uh, insert various types of memories, cards, which are form of portable storage. So as you can see on the face uh, front of the front face of the system unit, you have a lot of connector. Okay have a lot of connector you have your USB you have also your CD no CD drive is a storage device that accepts data which resembles musical CD most news computers have DVD drive which accepts data for more information see chapter 2 okay so we also have the personal computer ports on a typical per personal computer ports the rear of the case contains numbers of holes slots called ports into which you can plug computer devices okay so you have a lot of port at the back of your computer 
so there as you can see so I know some of you are familiar with the back panel of the uh, computer case or computer system so there you can see your keyboard port you can also see your mouse port where you connect your mouse USB port or the universal serial bus then you also have the firewire port also known as the IEEE 1394 port to plug the firewire device such as digital video cameras often use okay firewire connection then network port you can use the network port to plug the cable that connects to a network to high speed internet modem so jan kino connect natin yung ating uh, modem no through rj45 or the network cable you can directly connect the modem to your computer so this is called an internet or ethernet port sound ports you you use the sound port to plug in the sound devices such as your speaker you can also connect your microphone okay some system have line in and line out ports to connect the computer to an external audio equipment okay so you can also use your tv tuner ports you use your tv tuner ports to connect to a media center pc to a tv so the tv tuner port enable you to see signals to receive the signals from a tv so pdre no if you want to watch uh, gma uh tv5 through your computer uh what you need is the uh, tv tuner you can also have the fm antenna port you use an fm antenna port to connect an, an fm antenna which enable you a media center to receive fm radio signals you can also modem port no use modem to port to connect your computer internal modem to your telephone system okay that's uh, your uh, back panel of your computer computer hardware consists of typical components of your computer such the parts devices buttons and ports that you can touch and physically manipulate computer hardware comes in two basic variety which is you have the external and the internal uh, external hardware also known as peripher peripherals refers to a hardware that connects to the outside of the computer case the monitor keyboard and mouse are the most common external hardware devices so the printer and speakers are also popular peripherals you can connect external hardware to your computer through the computer ports described on the previous page so uh, as long as that device are connected outside then consider uh, that will be considered as external hardware for the internal hardware internal hardware refers to the hardware that resides inside the computer case so this includes the central processing unit which is the cpu it is the brain of a computer chips that are used for temporary data storage while you work these drives that are also used for long-term storage and circuit boards that supply many of the ports on the back of the computer case you can learn more about this internal so chapter 2 so computer software provides the in instructions that enable the computer hardware to perform its task without software your monitor would not display anything your speakers would remain silent and typing on the keyboard keys should have no effect so computer software comes into basic categories application and a system so of course we have the system software and uh, application software okay system software and application software so application software application software refers to the programs that you interact with to perform so a uh, specific a uh, computer task for example a word processing program enable you to create documents such as memos and letters graphics programs enable you to draw an image an email program enable you to send and receive email while the system software 
System software refers to the programs that operate behind the scene to ensure that your computer system such as functions properly. This software is most often referred to as the operating system such as yeah, an example is the Windows operating system. Okay, lahat ng mga Windows natin. And also we have the Macintosh. So, yan. Okay, so that ends our uh, chapter 1 or getting familiar with the computer basic. Okay, so thank you very much uh, my IT101 student for listening and uh, you may answer your uh, quiz after this. Okay, have a good day everyone and uh, see you again next week. Okay, God bless everyone.